Filipina, an identity I get to fully embrace here in Davao Oriental. Allow me to share my story growing up in this place I call home. I am Claiza Ferrando Castro, a Pinay with indigenous roots from the Mandaya tribe of Davao Oriental. I have a deep personal connection with this community, and I am proud to be Mandaya. We have a saying, Basta Mandaya, Matimawa. The word Matimawa means beautiful. I was born here in Mati City and had so many fun childhood memories over the years. We would spend them at my Lola's house. I call her Mommy Feli. Remember ni mo to sa una tong mga bata pa minyo din yung mga Christmas, oh. niya kompleto pa kayo ta. Nadala na siya di ang bet na rapid na kayo. Ito rapid! Oo! Ako na siya pagka-miss universe! Happy gigay ko! Pagkita na yung mga pamilya. Happy gigay ko! Thank you, babe! As a history lover, it's so important for me to immerse myself in the culture and stories of my home. Like in Subangan Museum, I love seeing how it showcases the Mandaya tribe and its people, literature, and sacred fabric, the Dagmai. It keeps me closer to my roots and as someone who used to be lost in her identity because of societal pressures and standards, I am grateful for this reminder and celebration of the Mandaya culture. When coming home to Mati as a kid, we would tell stories about seeing a sleeping dinosaur. Now, it feels nostalgic revisiting this childhood tale and hiking to the top of the island. Like many things in life, the little dreams I had when I was a kid didn't turn out the way I expected it to be. Like in pageantry, there is so much sacrifice outside the glitz and glamour. But despite the climb, reality can just be as beautiful as this view. When I needed to be reminded to persevere, the Hikan Beach always holds a special place in my heart. When I was still a kid, I would swim here with my siblings and cousins wearing our Pambahay clothes, and it was one of our fondest memories. Now that I'm a beauty queen, I get to strut my stuff in a swimsuit. Growing up watching these surfers keep going even after they crash in the waves, it reminds me that despite hardships, I should also keep my head high, enjoy the tide, and keep going. I love adventure. In reaching new heights, literally and figuratively, I tried the flying saga. The flying experience in the ultralight airplane allowed me to see the breathtaking views of Mati, and it signifies hope and freedom in this new journey. My home is not just my comfort zone. My home pushes me in spite of my fears to keep growing. The last Mandaya community that fully preserves its culture is here in Davao Oriental, and the tribal chieftain is a woman. This is her story. Madayao na kalamdag. Ako si Bae Christine Banugan. Nahimo ko nga tribal chieftain at the age of 26. Ang amo ang identity is ang dagmay, which is made of abaca fiber. Ang pinaka-main livelihood source of income sa Mandaya dinhi sa Barangay Pichon is abaca production. Importante usab ka namo nga matagaan o livelihood ang atong mga kaigsuunang Mandaya dinhi sa Sangab. Mapasalamaton nga ana ay nitabang sa amoa nga si Miss Claisa Castro, diin siya na himong instrumento nga mapaduol mi sa ahensya sa guberno, which is ang dole. Pagmandaya, matimawa. Her ability to lead an entire tribe has greatly inspired me as a fellow Mandaya to be my own transformational leader. Throughout the years, I lived my story in this place I call my home. 
Davao Oriental, you are a part of who I am and I carry you with me as I aim for the universe.